Hi Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit. And we're just going to jump in and see what's going on with you today here, Aries, okay? Hold on, excuse me. My burp. Ugh. Sorry, I chugged some water before this. I probably shouldn't have, sorry. Okay. Um, yes, Aries, hello. Uh, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. And I have a bonus channel for you at All Science Tarot. Um, and I do offer same day personal readings. Um, everything you need to know is in the description box below. And I do have a vlog channel at Val Smib. Okay, if you want to check it out. Thank you, Aries. Let's go ahead and see what's going on today with you. Okay, Aries, so it looks like here um, you start out in this energy basically of waiting. You're at home, just waiting for information, waiting for things to happen in life. You just kind of sit and wait a lot. Um, you're planning for something, you know, and working on some stuff, but you are kind of just sitting there mostly just waiting. Unfortunately, I don't know if you waited too long and, you know, I don't know, it's kind of like you waited too long and did you like, I don't know, did you already move out of a house? Did you get kicked out? Did you lose a home? Or is it more so things at home are very unstable with yourself or with who you're living with? Or is something truly not like you don't like where you're at, you know? Or is it more so of like, you know, things aren't what you're making it seem to people. You know what I'm saying? So either or, that seems to have caused you to become very guarded and kind of protect your boundaries and put some walls up and actually take accountability and responsibility for yourself in life, which is good. And then that's also made you realize that whatever level of recognition and success you do have, you feel like it's not good enough. You're doing that instant gratification thing. You're wanting more out of what you already have. But at the same time, you could be feeling like humiliated, like publicly or by people or friends or society, whatever this is, or having a bad reputation. Um, you know, this could be online, offline. It doesn't have to be, you know, uh, you know, I don't know, like social media stuff, but it might be too for some of you here. So either or, um, whatever it is, it's just like, you're not, you're feeling like you're not good at it or failing or I don't know, something's not ideal or you, your ego has allowed you to think like, I need more, I need more, I need more. So either or whatever it is. Then, so it looks like you, you go seek some counseling, you go seek someone that, you know, some information wise, but you know, kind of an, an energy here, you, you keep to yourself. You're definitely a homebody. Like you're, you're, you know, you, you, you like to be alone and do your own thing. Um, but it looks like, so you could have, you know, gone to therapy, counseling, a teacher, a coach of some sort here, um, who could help you with some answers. looks like you went to them and you decided to just be like, never mind, forget it. I'm walking away and disconnect. So that's also caused you though, to kind of get, unfortunately more like, you know, obsessed with money and stability and finances and your own career path and like trying to figure out what you need to do with that. Not really wanting to just be independent and take care of yourself and put in the hard work and the effort to do it instead, like maybe relying on others to help you or being financially dependent on someone or others that caused you to get really, really angry and maybe start like an argument with someone around you or you're really frustrated and it's really aggravating. That's caused you to go into a little episode of depression, you know, dwelling, bitterness, not feeling great because you're hanging on to things that you shouldn't. And then it looks like though, at the end, you're just like, never mind. I do need to move forward and live my life. Forget it. I'm, I'm, I'm done. So 
you release it looks like here towards the end you release all the baggage and toxicity or whatever's going on in life okay let's see here oh okay so huh so you hold on sorry something's tickling my nose as i'm trying to tell you this um okay so you already tried to attack someone verbally hopefully not physically you got okay so aggression anger aggression frustration confusion and just you know exchanging very mean harsh words to other people or you know something of that sort here because it's kind of like there's something here going on that caused you to be in this energy of like you just want to fight that is you're that's what you're waiting on so you're waiting to start some drama or verbally attack someone or you're just so irritated you're ready just to go off and you're waiting for when you can go off on someone or something here unfortunately aries it looks like you are financially energetically emotionally not walking away from things that aren't even helping you or don't serve you any longer um you're not letting go you're using things or people or something here as a crutch that's what's making everything unstable at home and like your level of success isn't going anywhere because of that you're not walking away from it when you know it's not really doing anything for you okay so well yeah you know that you're investing and spending waste you're wasting your time you know and spending your way your life in a way that's not really helpful for you that's why you got guarded and decided to kind of do something different and get up and like you know maybe take responsibility you know for your life So you do have a good position of money, wealth, status, you know, image, independence, whatever, something here that's very ideal for you. Um, it looks like here that, so, okay, you do well, job, career path. So I think what you're saying is, no, you have it, you're going to stay here with it, but like you just want more. So it could be ego and greed making you think you need more, you need to be better, you need to be at the top, but you're already successful, but you don't see it that way. Okay, so once again, you get a bit irritated, you go cold, you get very frustrated, okay, and um, maybe even manipulative, okay, and that's what made you decide to go to a teacher or a counselor, someone who knows a bit more, also maybe go to therapy, which is good, or you just decided to sit by yourself and kind of figure out some things here. Ah, but because you have romantic emotions towards someone... But it's one-sided it's only on your end that's what made you be like well forget it i'm done here unless um it could just be your own individual thing and you're just kind of like well i mean like you're, you're like you're kind of like well i'm kind of having fun but not really actually so forget it i can't get what i want out of this so you walk away ah uh, so you're going through an ego death okay a huge awakening you're realizing what you're doing is not it. it's not really really real in a sense here with how you're trying to do something here and it's about your own financial independence and finances and career path and what you don't really want to put in the effort towards so ah so you don't you're you're you agree and you understand that all of this is going on you're doing it to yourself but you're not happy about it you don't want to make any changes and that's why you started to start you know argument drama fights with someone or you're just really irritated and frustrated and confused Sorry, my nose has been tickling the whole time I'm talking to you don't distract me Aries <laughs> um okay so you don't really like your job or want to work that hard with whatever this is about and that's what's suppressing the heck out of you right now okay it makes sense beautiful though wow okay well all of a sudden you're like that's it I'm done I am I'm gonna let go I'm moving forward I have to do this twice that's incredible okay well that's amazing you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or of course have these in your birth chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you, Aries. Bye.